I didn't always have it figured out. I wasn't always successful. When I think back to when I was a young teenager, 13, 14, 17, I had these dreams. I had a dream of a big life. I would read about these people who had created huge lives for themselves and have achieved so much. And I thought, that could be me. I want that to be me. I want to have an adventurous life. But then after college and a series of jobs, I got married, we started having kids. My big life became my stuck life. I was living a life that I wasn't meant to live. I was living a life that I actually never imagined living. And by all outward appearances, I was pretty successful. I had a decent home in a nice part of Southern California. I was running sales and marketing for a computer security company. I was traveling all the time, but it wasn't the life I was meant to live. Behind the scenes, we were living paycheck to paycheck. We were definitely not living the big life, the big adventure that we thought we would live when we first met one another. And it wasn't until I was 33 where I imagined that life that I was supposed to be living and I took a step back and I said, what is it I really, really want? And I like to say I was born at 33 because that's the time I actually did my own big life exercise and wrote down what I want out of my life. But I'll be honest, even though I made some life changes and things were for the better, I still lived within constraints and self-limiting beliefs about what was realistic for me. I thought things that I dreamed of were unattainable. I remember my wife and I read a book together about dreams and we both created a dream journal. And in mine, I wrote down, someday I'd love to learn to fly a jet. I was a pilot, I was flying small single engine Cessnas. And she says to me, why not own a jet? And I said, well, that's not realistic. That's not attainable. And she said, why not? And I started thinking bigger. And today, I've owned two jets. And in the last 14 years, I've owned five planes and flown over 4,000 hours. I get to fly to visit my offices around the US and Canada on a regular basis. This is the life I dreamed of living when I was a teenager. But 20 years after I first dreamed of this, I thought it wasn't realistic. And I'm here to tell you that if you had those dreams back then, but you have found for yourself that life has taken over, that you are now living paycheck to paycheck or living from one vacation to the next or thinking about what you're going to do in retirement, you don't have to wait till then. You can start living your dream life now. People ask me all the time, what is your exit strategy for your business? As if I want to sell and retire and go to the beach. But I tell them, I don't need to exit my business. I'm not working now. This isn't work. I'm having a blast. And now I'm building multiple companies and I am living my dream life. And I know you can too. So join us on this journey to take a step back to when you were a teenager and you dreamed big and you dreamed a life without limits.